surface preparation ensure that the material is ready to receive a coating be adhered to another material or other similar surface related application a dirty oily flaking or otherwise compromised surface can greatly reduce the effectiveness of coating cause adhesion failure or otherwise determine a process surface preparation works to ensure the best possible mechanical bonding adhesion or weld quality while also helping to mitigate against later problems such as corrosion and mechanical damage what are the names of surface preparation methods surface preparation can take the form of chemical or mechanical methods include the use of solvents abrasive blasting material heat acids and jets of water there are also more traditional techniques using hand or power tools abrasive blasting sometimes termed grid blasting is generally deemed to the most efficient and versatile surface preparation methods and as such as can be broken down into different types however solvent cleaning is another vital surface preparation technique depends on the requirements of preparation and the condition of the material being prepared here we detail different surface preparation methods abrasive blast cleaning this method cleaning uses an abrasive jet of particle in a compressed air stream which impact on the surface removing impurity mill scale old paint and rust widely used in ship building and repair it is particularly effective in removing oxide corrosion it is also widely used in the aerospace and medical sectors prior to the application of thermal spray coating and many other industries abrasive blast cleaning can also be performed with the centrifugal impellers that use revolving radial bladed wheels to throw abrasive material in the surface to be prepared the force of impact varies according to the size of the wheels and their velocity a wide range of abrasives are available including both non metallic and metallic varieties like aluminum oxide or metallic grit such as chilled iron as well as other plastic ceramic and natural materials appropriate for the substrate material and application requirement the size of abrasive particles can impact the quality and rate of cleaning with the fine grades being fine for relatively new surfaces and coarser grade being better for more heavily corroded surfaces higher purity grades of aluminum blast media are also used in high volume manufacturing process such as aerospace and medical applications in some instance a mix of abrasive grades may be used blast cleaning produce dust and debris that need to be removed from the surfaces this can be achieved with mechanical brushes or air blows sweeping vacuum cleaning or washing with water or solvent there is a range of different level of abrasive blast cleaning from light blast cleaning through to white metal blast cleaning which is the highest grade of abrasive blast cleaning the requirements are defined in the appropriate industrial application standards SSPC SP1 solvent cleaning this method of surface preparation is meant to remove soluble substance from steel before a paint or other protective coating is applied a solvent is used to remove all visible oil grease dirt drawing or cutting compounds or other soluble contaminants solvents may include steam emulsifying agents or other cleaning components surface free from grease oil dirt and dust drawing and cutting combo sspc sp2 hand tool cleaning hand tool cleaning refers to a surface preparation that uses non power handheld tool to clean a steel surfaces hand tool cleaning is intended to remove all loose mill scale rust paint and other contaminants that may be detrimental to the coating application According to SSPC loose contaminants are those that can't be removed by lifting off with a dull knife surface free from grease oil dirt and dust drawing and cutting compounds mild scale rust paint SSPC SP3 power tool cleaning as in hand tool cleaning SP3 is a method of steel surface preparation intended to remove all 
loose mill scale, rust, paint and other contaminants that may be detrimental to a coating application. As its name suggests, SP3 differs in that it is used power tool to clean the surfaces. According to the SSPC, loose contaminants are those that can't be removed by lifting off with a dull putty knife. Surface free from grease, oil, dirt and dust, drawing and cutting compounds, mill scale, rust, paint. SSPC SP5 NACE 1 White Metal Blast Cleaning This SSPC NACE Joint Standard describes the cleaning of steel surfaces previously painted or unpainted to a white metal condition through a use of abrasive blast media. White metal is a term used to describe a surface that's uniformly free of all foreign matters and white or grey in appearance. According to the SSPC, a surface blasted to white metal should, without magnification, be free of all visible oil, grease, dust and dirt, mill scale, rust, coating, oxides, corrosion products and other foreign matters. White metal is uniformly free of all foreign matters and white or grey in appearance. SSPC SP6 NACE 3 Commercial Blast Cleaning SP6 is another joint standard describing the cleaning of steel surface through a use of abrasive blast media. It includes instructions for prior to blast cleaning as well as for the inspection of the cleaning after it has been conducted. Similar to a white metal blast cleaning, surface prepared to an SP6 standard should be without magnification free of all visible oil, grease, dust and dirt, mill scale, rust, coating, oxides, corrosion products and other foreign matters. Random staining from the previous exposure to the above is acceptable. However, so long as it doesn't comprise more than 33% of each area unit as described by the standard, such staining may be take the form of light shadows, slight streaks or minor discolorations caused by stains of rust, stains of mill scale or stains of previously applied coating. 33% of light staining per unit may remain. Surface free from grease, oil, dirt and dust, drawing and cutting compounds, mill scale, rust, paint, oxide coating. SSPC SP7 NACE 4 Brush Off Blast Cleaning This standard conveys the requirement for cleaning ST surfaces painted or unpainted with the use of abrasive blast media. It contains descriptions of required end condition of surface that has undergone brush off cleaning, as well as the necessary method for verifying the assets and condition. All oil grease, dirt dust must be cleared from the surface when viewed without magnification. Loose mill scale, rust and coating must also be removed according to this standard. But tightly adhered mill scale, rust and coatings may remain. These are considered tightly adhered if they cannot be removed by lifting with a dull putty knife. Surface free from grease, oil, dirt and dust, drawing and cutting compounds, mill scale, rust, paint, oxide coating. SSPC SP10 NACE 2 Near White Commercial Blast Cleaning This standard conveys the requirement for cleaning ST surfaces painted or unpainted with the use of abrasive blast media. It also includes instructions for achieving and verifying the standard required end condition. As with the commercial blast, the prepared surface must be free when viewed without magnification of visible oil, dust, dirt, grease, mill scale, rust coating, oxides, corrosion and other foreign matters, except for the limited amount of acceptable staining. Unlike with the commercial blast, only 5% of each area unit as defined by the standard may be exhibit staining. These 5% may consist of light shadows, slight sticks, minor discolorations that could be result of exposure to rust, mill scale or of the previous coating. SSPC SP11 Power Tool Cleaning to Bare Metal This standard describes the requirement for taking a surface to a bare metal. 
while ensuring a minimum surface profile of 1 mil that is 25 micrometer it is used to situations where abrasive blasting is not possible or feasible unlike sp3 the standard required the creation or preservation of a surface profile unlike sp15 the standard does not allow for stain from mill scale rust or paint to remain on the surfaces